guys, welcome back to my channel today. This video is for you if you can't afford wild cut salmon, buy pasteurized egg, all organic, all grass fed beef, grass fed butter, everything is organic. If this is not going for you on your keto lifestyle because you got to pay your rent, you got to pay your car, or you got to pay your student loans or any other things, and you have just a certain amount of money to make this go right then this video is for you so stick around until to the end if you are new to my channel my name is Yvette I am on a keto lifestyle for over nine months I dropped over 37 pounds now and I went from EU size 42 to 34 so I had great success with this lifestyle and now I want to share some tips what I learned during this nine months to make your journey easier and even if you don't have a tons of money then you can still do something about your health you can get healthier you can follow a low carb or keto lifestyle it's absolutely doable it doesn't matter what people tell you and obviously if you would have the money i would say yeah go and buy all organic all grass-fed everything but if you don't then anything you do is gonna be better than the pre-made junk food you ate before so now my tips okay so if you go to the groceries buying your veggies and you are not buying organic because you just can't afford that then i show you a technique now how to do it and get the most out of the veggies you are having and this is how we're gonna do it this is our veggies one tomato two bell pepper and one cucumber all of them is non-organic and what you do i didn't have a big pot so i am using the sink and here is 3.7 liter of water and i mix it with one third of a cup of apple cider vinegar and i'm gonna place the veggies here for about half an hour okay so we will leave them here for half an hour and then we see what's happening all right this is done and half an hour is over so the apple cider vinegar should clean everything from the outside of the veggies and now you just rain them with some water and they are ready to eat my next tip when you start keto then you will go to a keto flu or keto adaptation and then you will go into the support groups and they will tell you do you need this keto supplement and that keto supplement and this electrolyte powder and it's not necessarily true if you have no money for this don't buy it because very little percentage of those products is actually working and there is a few that is really good and i personally use but it costs money so if you don't have that extra money then make a bone broth bone broth will give you the salt the potassium the magnesium and the calcium tons of electrolytes tons of vitamins and minerals what you need especially when you are adapting super easy to make like when you make a bone broth you will get a lot of liquid after so it could last for you for days it could help you to transition and it's cheap it's really cheap doesn't cost a lot of money so absolutely that's my tip if you can't afford these products what they're selling to people on keto then just make your own brown mod and actually i think it's one of the best electrolyte to use it works really well all right next step buy everything on sale there is seasonal stuff for really cheap it doesn't cost a lot of money you can even get discounts when you buy in bulk and then you just put it into the freezer and it's gonna be there for you sometimes i even buy meat what is like on 50 percent off because it's expired already but actually it's totally fine so i just buy it i put it into the freezer and i got good quality meat for half price and then when i need it i just take it out from the freezer and i never had a problem or issue or food poisoning or anything with it so don't be so concerned if the meat looks good and it's on sale buy it it's still way better than the pre-made frozen meal you had a week ago for dinner another option to buy frozen veggies you can even maybe afford frozen organic veggies because the price difference is really big between fresh and frozen and you can just buy frozen one make meals out of it and it just works perfectly so don't worry that you have to eat fresh veggies frozen veggies also keep 
certain amount of nutrition and it's totally fine and especially when you're starting out and you're just learning just get it it's really better than the chocolate another thing you can get very cheap is cabbage or sauerkraut they are super super cheap to buy it makes tons of food and I show you how to prepare it because many people don't like it because they don't know how to prepare sauerkraut I have a video on kitchen tips for beginners you can just click on it it's in the description box below and look at it and I show you how to prepare it it's super easy and you can make tons of delicious meal out of it and two handful of sauerkraut will give all the vitamin C needs you have on a day so it's perfect and again you don't have to spend money on other supplements the next step is protein sources get canned fish canned fish can be tuna sardines any type of canned fish would do they are really good very low in carbs like zero carbs and it's nutritious give you omega-3 of course if you could buy grass-fed beef buy grass-fed beef but if it's not in the budget canned fish is really go well especially if you are Having a hectic day, not a lot of time to prepare food, you just open it and eat it with some veggies or cheese or something and it works perfectly fine. So don't worry, that's a good solution. And the next thing people talk about, don't ever buy processed meat on keto, sausages and different processed meat products. I don't know, I buy processed stuff and it's perfectly working fine and I was still staying in ketosis, I still got health benefit and of course you could sometimes afford the very high quality food but not every time or not at all than a sausage it works perfectly fine it's way better than the food you ate before high carbs wheat with wheat sugar with sugar so don't worry about it just do the best as you can and that will do the job for you if you go on that one of the cheapest is pecans to buy and it's the greatest one it's the most fattier one with the less carbs and it's just delicious you can make pecan pies out of it and many other things so you totally can go away with pecans i hope this quick video was uh, helping for you and it helps you how to go about to starting a keto lifestyle on budget how to make it good and budget friendly if it was helpful give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye bye guys